So for whatever reason, you guys really seem to love when I destroy things. That's why we're back playing Solar Smash. It's the only game where you can end life as you know it in unimaginably weird ways. I played this game about five months ago and you guys left over 1.2 million views and 64,000 likes. Well, if you guys want me to blow up Earth and other various planets, all you gotta do is smash like with your entire foot. If you guys do, the entire solar system will explode. <laughs> The sun is getting sucked up into black holes. Oh. <laughs> so I was reading through your guys' comments, and supposedly there are secret planets that we can unlock in Solar Smash. They also recently updated it, so we have over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14 different planets that you could destroy. The first secret planet you can get is basically created by turning the entire Earth back about 50,000 years to the Ice Age. Look at it, we have created a nice cube of Earth. Only 893 million people died. There's still 6B89. 9am people left. Well, that can't happen. <laughs> the entire thing is turning into a giant popsicle. You can't even really tell how much destruction is happening. 673 million people somehow have survived the world's first ice age that actually has people involved. There's five different secret planets that we're going to be unlocking today, and I'm hopefully going to be able to show you guys how to get each and every one of them in Solar Smash. And you probably guessed by now, a lot of them, the only way to get them is to destroy the Earth in various really painful ways. Well, the North Pole has slightly spread to everywhere. This is kind of like reverse global warming. So if I did that right, we should have unlocked the achievement and we have the brand new secret planet, Frosty the Snowman. I guess it's more like Frosty the Snow Planet? They say that there's all types of planets out there in the universe. There's over billions and billions of planets. So you have to think one planet probably actually looks like Frosty the Snowman. Frosty has a little tiny button nose on, doesn't he? Oh no, he has a carrot knows. I'm gonna see if I can replace it with an asteroid. <laughs> Frosty's entire face just got wiped out. I'm just trying to put new buttons on them, ladies and gentlemen, but they're kind of getting replaced with giant craters. We could also go ahead and throw the entire flipping moon at Frosty to see how he handles that. <laughs> Frosty just got... Oh my gosh. He just ate the moon. What about a black hole out in Frosty's head? Oh, what? I'm so sorry, his head's getting sucked into oblivion. I think those used to be his eyes. Yeah, his eyes are now just floating in space as asteroids. There's also a couple brand new ways to destroy planets in the latest update. One being giant alien dragon creatures. We're only gonna summon in a couple. Did I say a couple? I meant a couple hundred. Frosty's butt is still very much intact and I do not appreciate that. Frosty's starting to look more like a sad snow cone than Frosty the flipping snowman. This is taking too long. We need giant man to come out and punch and to frosty is it gonna work oh right in the kidney oh my goodness i could just summon in a giant energy beam this reminds me of what they do when they get rid of tattoos they do like the giant laser thing and then it kind of just turns your skin back to normal except this one just burns and through entire planets frosty looks like he turned into a bunch of snow turds in order to get the next secret planet you need to take the giant casper the ghost with anger issues and destroy everything everything on planet earth i am not joking so i am going to literally surround earth with as many of these things as possible oh look at it they did a clone jutsu and they just keep punching imagine you're just chilling having a picnic with your family and then giant casper the ghost comes out of nowhere and literally punches the earth to bits <laughs> We turned Earth into, like, the core of an apple. Well, I don't know if you guys saw, but we definitely, most certainly unlocked the secret planet, which is Ghost World. A lot of you guys were commenting that Ghost World was, like, the coolest thing ever, so let's try it out. So if I just, like, shoot it, what what happens? Does this do anything? Oh, wait a second. I also forgot to mention that we can actually go back to the missiles, and we can fly a ship. So I think if I set this to 66, and then I set this to 5, once we go into target mode and we launch, yes, we can actually fly the spaceship. Oh, this is cool. And then we can shoot Ghost World. World. So this entire thing is kind of just like a big blob. It just looks so cool. It's just like a bunch of purple glue. Oh my gosh. And you can destroy it too. What is happening? What am I doing? I think I'm going through the core of Ghost World. This is like going through a vortex. We made it through. No, we didn't. Yes, we did. No, we didn't. Yes, we did. We I am I dreaming as you can sort of see the entire planet is basically see through. So you can basically, you know, go around and see all the different things that you did to the planet. So let's say I got that giant laser from earlier. We could just shoot it directly through the center. 
and now there's just a crater in the middle of Ghost World. I wonder if you can destroy it enough to the point where it explodes. Or wait a second, what if I summon back Angry Casper? Does Angry Casper do any damage to his world? All right, well, his anger issues definitely are still intact. Man is angry. I don't know what happened to him. Maybe somebody stole his lunch money. I just think it's so cool that you can kind of see the, the craters and you can also just see through the planet and all the destruction. Oh, wait, this one looks so cool with the other alien creatures. So if we summon the giant void worms, they'll actually be see-through when they're going through this mega amazing ghost planet. Let's see if it works. So, okay, they're going to insert themselves there and we can see the destruction firsthand. Look at it. You can see the path that they take but every other planet they sort of just like disappear inside of the planet but this one looks amazing it's like a little tiny aquarium world for our void ghost worms while they're in there let's summon in some satellites to see if we're actually able to destroy the ghost world those are not satellites those are drills i stand heavily corrected this is so peaceful and beautiful yet extremely terrifying at the same time can i freeze ghost world i don't know if this is effective oh wait i can actually get rid of it oh this is amazing i'm not even entirely sure what i'm looking at but it looks magnificent. It's starting to kind of look like a ghost donut. All right, well, I'm pretty sure that's all you can do with the ghost world. It does not explode, but I can still explode the sun. <laughs> Let's go find the next secret planet. For our next challenge, we need to make the world flat. I honestly think the best way to do this is to just max out our rockets. So if I shoot a rocket right there, that is more than one rocket. I forgot there is 100 rockets. Did I do it? Everybody's dead. Uh... I don't know if I made it flat. Kind of made like a, a, a giant butthole. Let's see what happens if I do it from the other side. Wait, did I make donut earth? It literally looks like I made earth into a donut. Well, we should be able to use our other beams in order to clean this up a little bit. Oh, this is looking like a beautiful chocolate donut that got slightly burnt in the factory. Well, I think that looks pretty good. So now that we have donut hole earth, we can go and try to, I guess, reset the planet. Okay, that did absolutely nothing. Let's try the mega pink beam. Oh, that was not a beam. All right, let's see if maybe I can melt the earth down to flat size using this giant beam. We're just gonna slowly roast it just like a nice good old fashioned ribeye steak. We're gonna cook it real fast and for about two minutes on one side and then we're gonna flip it over and do the same on the other. All right, I think this is definitely doing the trick here. Yeah, we're just slowly and steadily melting earth down to a simple frisbee. Let's go see how skinny it is. We're okay, we're actually getting somewhere. Oh, I cut it, no, I made a cookie. This takes a lot more focus than you would think ladies and gentlemen. All right, so that side seems relatively flat. Now we need to come over here and give it a little extra. Mm okay, does that look good? Did we flatten it? No, we didn't. I have found a different approach. We're gonna try it from the side angles instead of directly forward. Maybe this will give me a little bit more of an idea of when it's fully flat. This is really flipping flat. I'm not entirely sure how much flatter this thing could get. We're just gonna flatten it. Just flat it. Flat. Just a little flippy flappy. Flippity flap it in. Planet Earth has gotten extra skinny lately. Also, I killed 7.791 billion people in the process, but we're not gonna talk about that. Okay, honestly, I'm not entirely sure how much flatter this can get. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna try to reset the world. It didn't work! What?! So a couple of you guys were commenting that there is indeed a grid feature. Now, I believe that that will basically protect a certain area that you designate. So I'm going to try it out. So we have chopped the earth in half and I'm going to use absolutely everything possible in order to just obliterate it until it is literally just a burger. Actually, I don't even need to use this anymore. I'm going to bring in the big guns. Black hole time. Black hole, black hole, black hole, black hole, black hole. We're going to make this thing super purpley polka dotted. Yes, 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 yes. It's working. The black holes are so effective. I love it. Okay, wait, we need to make sure that we're getting the entire butt. All right, just a couple more black holes should do the trick. Now we need to make sure that we're leveling out the top as well. I think it's actually working. Okay, I don't think it can get any better than this. This is the flattest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Yes, we did it. Achievement unlocked. Turn Earth into a pancake. So wait, this thing is actually super overpowered. So the top of the Earth has been compressed down into a giant giant circle. For whatever reason, the moon and the sun are still... How? What? The sun has shrunk. I guess because we have literally flattened the earth, so the entire surface area is now stretched out into just a simple circle. That is actually crazy. Let's see what a mega pancake does with the moon. Wait, I think I summoned the moon. That moon's a little bit bigger than the other moon. Wait, maybe we could use this to make a 
donut earth. This would actually be a really cool donut, like an earth themed donut where everything was kind of just like glazed in a different flavor. Dunkin' Donuts, if you're watching this, don't steal my idea. I also just realized because the sun kind of like shrunk, we're able to just move it. I just hit the sun with a giant moon and now the sun's just going off in the distance. Can I still shoot the sun? Oh my gosh, I just shot the moon like a bowling ball and it literally just went down to flat earth. We're in the SS Cookie Spaceship. I just wanted to make sure and confirm that the earth was indeed flat, ladies and gentlemen, and I can confirm it is flat. There's still one more secret planet that we have left to unlock. Actually, technically there's two, but I don't even know how to get the last one. If you guys know, leave a comment down below and smash like with your foot so I can come back later and we can figure it out. But the last one that I know how to do, basically we need to turn this entire thing into a donut. That should definitely do the trick. We just maxed it out a hundred. Looks good to me. Everything checks out. This is fine. This is totally fine. Okay, so now we need to go directly to the other side and we need to hit it directly in the center so that hopefully it will explode in just the right way that it will donutify Earth. We did it! No, we didn't. Destroyed 10 planets. I think we lost. Donut. Donut. Do, 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 nut. Do, nut. Do, 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 nut. Did we do the nut? Why does it work? It looks like a donut. Okay, we're gonna try to use the same tactic that we did to make the flat earth. So I'm just gonna blow up this side. I think I just summoned in a million missiles. That's gonna be nice and shiny fireworks show. So this side just got completely flatified. And yes, I just made up that word. It just literally looks like tiny baby fireworks works and then it explodes okay so now we can probably turn off the grid and then we just need to drill through the center of the earth there we go it is literally a perfect donut okay let's try to reset the planet please tell me i got the donut how is this possible all right planet earth you've uh you basically you basically won this one psych i will turn earth into a donut five hours later there is no other shape that i can make that looks like a donut i'm going for it i'm resetting the world this has to work we did it yes we got the achievement donut this is the weirdest thing ever it looks like a donut but it also looks like one of those tubes that you put in like a lazy river somehow it also cut the earth's population in half i wonder if i could fit the moon through the center of the donut well here goes nothing oh uh, wait hold on uh no, I kind of... <laughs> I missed just a little bit. But guys, if you do know how to get the final secret planet, please leave a comment down below. Hit the like button and also subscribe. It's free and it helps me out a lot. My name is Beck Bro. I destroyed Earth nine different times today and I will see you guys all next time.